the most rewarding championship that I've ever been involved in. Momentum's up. This championship is one of the hardest in the world. Great for Thruxton to have a crowd back, adding to the atmosphere, and uh, it's felt like a proper touring car event for sure this weekend. My name's Ashley Sutton, I race for Laser Tools Racing and we're here at Fruxton for the second time. Obviously Knock Hill was, was an interesting weekend. For me, obviously suffering a little bit of food poisoning on the Saturday really sort of threw, threw me back a little bit. Um, but yeah, we, we didn't really show any pace at all in FP1 or FP2. But yeah, we, we just had enough energy there to, to put a lap together and qualify, and which if I'm honest it was, it was perfect to sort of set us up for, for race day on, on the Sunday. We're doing the best job we can. We're going to every weekend and extending the championship. So ultimately, what more do you want? Um, Here, obviously, the real issue we have is stopping it into the first chicane and off of the first chicane, um, the run to Noble. But once you're out the back of the circuit, there's not really much of an effect. Uh, like so, momentum's up. You're not really having to put any brake input in. So you haven't got a, the weight affecting you there. It's only when you come back into the, the final chicane is where you notice the big the big difference under braking, it, it, it makes life a bit harder. Tom's done a mega job in, in that high and die. Um, obviously Colin I always expected to be there. I expected the likes of Gordon Shedden to be there. Um, but yeah, Jake Hill, Dan Robottom, they're people that are yeah, keeping you on your toes. I think race one, we just got a knuckle down. We'll see how we get on in qualifying. But as soon as we can shed some of that weight, I, yeah, I'll always be on that charge. Um, and race three, I like to get involved. I've had a mad month. So everyone knows there's five weekends in August this year. It's, and I've been racing every single one of them, uh, jointly between the British Touring Cars and the Pure ETCR Championship. And I just got back from Hungary last weekend, ready for Thruxton now. And this is the last one of what I call the mad five. So it has been mental for me personally. <laughs> the first round at the beginning of the year, I, you know, I, I said it to you guys at the beginning, it was a, it was a lot to do, a lot to take on. Uh, with a new rear-wheel drive and it was damp and it was cold and it was the hard tire we'd never even tested before uh, and now we're coming here and it's warm you know it's the end of August it's warm it's cloudy it's still like 20 degrees and I'm happy that we're coming back to the same circuit twice because it definitely helps with your experience especially when learning uh, with the, the new car new team it's great this weekend as well that I've got Kevin Berry here uh, who was my engineer I had at the beginning of the year, you may remember, at Alton Park. Super experienced, uh, and he was actually Colin Turkington's uh, engineer when he was at Westside Racing, so I think that's really going to help us this weekend. Coming into the sixth round, you know, I, I am happy to be honest. I'm happy to be back in the championship. I've missed this, I've missed hanging out with my friends in the paddock, I've missed actually what touring cars are in general. You know, the racing and getting stuck in is something that you just don't see anywhere else. Because there's been points this year where I've thought, this is hard work. Um, but Knock Hill was the first time I felt comfortable. I felt like I was enjoying it. I felt like the old me, and I got to put on a proper show. This is the first time we've come back to a track that we've actually raced at with Cooper. And I think what that gives us is a data catalog of information. So it's nice to be able to apply that um, and hopefully be in a far better position. You know, this is my dream come true. There's no two ways about it, but it's the most rewarding championship that I've ever been involved in. Yeah, quality was, was looking really promising um, at the very beginning, sort of the first three quarters. 
we were sort of bubbling around P3, P4, and then a couple of the guys that were running lighter, uh, Les Ballas, popped in sometimes, which pushed us back to P7. But overall, we're, we're ahead of Colin, we're ahead of uh, Ingram and Shedden, so our key rivals are all behind us, which is, which is good for us. It's just two on the limit. Yeah. It's uh, race days where I feel like I'm in my element. Saturdays, um, Saturdays are uh, more about that fine tuning and everything, and race day I can get stuck in. It is qualifying day at Truxton, and we've just wrapped up. The absolute truth of it is, we don't have a qualifying setup. Um, and around this track, we have to use the hard tyre, which magnifies our problem. Um, the hard tyre is just that little bit more like stubborn. So unless your car really like digs in and works the tyre, you can't switch it on. Like I always feel bad for the guys. Like they've worked tirelessly to prep the car and get everything ready. And like you get out and I'm disappointed. So I can barely bring myself to say thank you. Where like they're as equally as disappointed as me. So you kind of just are in this awkward like, Ah, this is so damn hard, but our day will come. Like, as bad as it sounds, I have confidence in myself, I have confidence that we'll find some time. Um, so one way or another, I'll enjoy it and we'll put on a show. Last cars. Feels like the weekends are in fast forward when you get to this point. So we've already had one race. Um, it was pretty crappy, I'm not gonna lie. So we got a puncture probably seven, eight laps into it. Um, around here is always notoriously difficult on tires, but we were pretty unfortunate to get it in the way we did. So you'll probably see like the gar or the awning is absolutely frantic now with all four cars going in a slightly different way with setup because we kind of we haven't unlocked what the car needs on this hard tire. So the day can only get better from having a puncture and finishing P nowhere. <laughs> um, so hopefully, yeah, race two and three will, will go a little bit more to plan. As you can see, the car's ready. Uh, we made a couple of little changes. It wasn't quite perfect in, in race one. So yeah, the plan is we've shedded some weight. The guys around us have got more ballast. We're kind of entering the unknown middle. I still think Ash for the top step is a real possibility because we saw how well that car went with the full weight. Now it's much, much lighter. The wind could be on. A possible problem here because Aaron Taylor Smith should be 27th on the grid and he's not yet made it. And that looks like a car in limp home mode, doesn't it? So race two of the day is round 17 of the Quick Fit British Touring Car Championship from Thruxton. As the lights go out, it is go and Ash Sutton is on a mission. This is the second place. Job done, gets the line for Allard, through he goes, starting lap four. That gives him the race lead. Yeah, it was always going to be an overlap, wasn't it? Ash Sutton, check and flag at the ready. Ash Sutton wins race two at Thruxton. Ready for round 18 of the Quick Fix British Touring Car Championship. Who will make the best start when the lights go out? We'll find out now because it's blast off. A good getaway by Morgan. Driver in the background, there's a Honda off at high speed. And possibly through comes Smiley, all of whom will take points off Ash Sasson for the championship. That's good news for Ingram. And it will deliver a win. Adam Morgan comes across the line for a second victory of the season. Well done to Adam Morgan, everybody. Winner of round 18. Uh, I'm Richard Owen, I'm Aaron Smith's uh, race engineer in the Touring Car Series. Yeah, we've got off to a bad start. We, we had a tyre delaminate in, in race one, great strip of rubber. Came away from the tyre, possibly as a result of um, pinching it on a kerb here, um, hard to say. Um, and then now we've just suffered a drive shaft failure on the front left side uh, as we came up to the start after the green flag lap. Is, are things clattering? It says like he's broken the drive shaft. Aaron, we're going to push it back and then push it back to the awning. 
so we can start work on the car. The drive shafts have a particularly hard time because especially today we're running hard tyres, it's a very aggressive, abrasive circuit, so, but at every circuit the drivers warm the brakes and the tyres extremely aggressively, which is quite hard on drive shafts. And we've broken one at a very inopportune moment, so. It depends where the drive shaft breaks. If they, if they flail, they can wipe off the whole of the suspension on that side, but it doesn't appear to have done any other damage other than the drive shaft itself, so. The yeah, race two was, was mega. Uh, at the start of the day, we sit there, we make our plan, um, and we fulfilled it again. It was it was it was good. We we started P5, got a mega first lap. We're into P3, and then it was just a case of picking off Tom Oliphant and uh, Josh Cook, and we, we we claimed the win. Which that win is what gives us the leg up every weekend. Ashton wins round 17. It's a tough old cookie race for it. Um, you, you obviously, you do the reverse grid. We pulled eight out of the hole, so we start P8, but you're sat there with 75 kilos on, and everyone behind you is ballast free. So it's, uh, it's a, a, a tough task, especially around here. People can get underneath you. They, they can do things that you can't. Safety car, safety car. Safety car, safety car, race until you see, until you see the board. Safety car in this lap. All right, good weekend. It's hard, you, you accept one, and you go, okay, look, race, race an incident or whatever went on, it's, uh, as long as everyone's okay, that, that's the key thing. You start racking in your, your second safety car, and especially the third, it's like, hang on, boys, what the f are we doing here? It's, uh, it's an absolute, well, if I'm honest, it, it, it's a bit of a show. We, we're, we're meant to be setting the standards of British touring cars, but as a whole, it, it, over the past day, we've had some real good races. It's just a shame race three ended the way it did. It's, uh, like I said, that is the key to making our weekend successful. A strong race one, a mega race two, and then damage limitation race three. And we've achieved that. Um, could have just been a little bit better in race three.